Hi, it's the DIY Blog Guy and in today's video we're looking at Canva and how you can create your own Twitter Blogtober images. Let's get started. First we need to log into Canva, it's uh, canva.com and once you're inside Canva you are faced with a whole heap of different image styles which is actually quite good if you don't know the size of file that you're looking for. So as we can see down here we've got uh, Facebook covers, sizes, um, Twitter headers, poster sizes. The one we're looking for today is a Twitter post. It's 1024 by 512 it could also be 506 by 253, which is what I'm using today. Twitter just likes you to have a 2 to 1 ratio for your images. So let's just put in the details because we want to be customized. We'll make it uh, in pixels and you can do this in millimeters or inches. And we hit design. Okay, so there's our blank canvas. First of all, if we can remember the actual photo, uh, we need a background. So we hit the background button and as you see in Canva, all the images that you see that have the word free obviously don't cost you anything. If you find a background that actually doesn't have free, it's a cost of $1 per image, which is actually quite reasonable considering there's some actually good quality images in there. Anyway, we're just going to use a free background today, so we just drag that across and it just fills it for us. Um, the next thing we want is to put in our little square. So I use a rectangle. Okay, so I use this rectangle because um, it allows me to change the size of the rectangle. Um, I'll make it a square. And we just go in and change the color. So we just click on that and we click on white and Click on white again. So now we actually have basic. We can just drag and drop that around. Um, the good thing about Canva is it actually snaps into place. So that's just showing you that's in the middle. Um, now what we do is we find the calendar. So we we'll go up to the search. We'll just find that calendar image that I was using. So we'll just go down here. And there it is there. So it's got a free against it. So not costing you anything. Uh, drag it across to your image and then we can just resize it so that's about right the size and again see how it's actually snap locking into the bottom of your image so this is really important if you're not a graphic designer that you still want it to look reasonably good so that's starting to look good now um, the color is a bit different so we can change the actual background color of that red circle if we click on plus we can select any color we like in the rainbow uh, I'm just going to choose the color I originally used and now it's starting to look quite good so what you'll see in the actual image I've got it's got a square edge on it now I think it actually looks okay like that but there's a reason why I did that it's because I couldn't do the shading or I couldn't be asked to do the shading to be honest so I'm just going to copy this rectangle and make it a bit smaller just click off it so I can drag it and then I can actually resize that and sometimes you want to get those edges just nice so go across to your zoom function and then we can just see a little bit more detail in here and we click off that it's starting to look about right we might just need to come down a little bit and we might be able to come over a little bit too until we see the edge of that file so we just wanted to cover up that circle so that's about as good as we're going to get I think can just drag that back a bit and see if we can get that edge about right. Yeah, so we, that's about right anyway. Okay, so I'll just uh, unzoom that now so we can see where we're at. So it's starting to look about right. Now we want to put in some uh, text. So we go over to the text tool. We add a heading. It can be a subheading or whatever. So I just did block toba. And you'll notice that the image is not quite what I had. You notice the font is not quite right. So let's just change that to 28. And the font I used was called Norwester. 
Okay, so now that's starting to look good. I also changed the color of the font. I think I went with a bit more of a gray sort of style color. Maybe a little bit darker, not quite black. Somewhere around out there will be good. Okay, so that's starting to look really good now. We just need to do one more thing and that's add the number. So let's just put in a one. And we can just drag that and just drag that across to our image and change the font so it's a little bit bigger. And again we change the font. So I went with Norwester again. And we change the color on that. Enter and we we'll just move it into place now. So again, it's doing the snapping, which is good, and we can see where it exactly fits. And I think that's about right. That's all we need to do to make our Twitter image for Blogtober. So all you need to do now is you can actually go up here and do a title design, which will be the name of the file. And we just do a download, and you can choose a JPEG or PNG or even send it as a PDF if you're sending it to the printers. And that's it. Thank you for your time today. Please share and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.